Amr radiallahu anhu swore by Allah's name in front of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Ibn Sayyid was indeed Dajjal and the Prophet remained silent on this matter. If the Prophet did not disagree with Umar radiallahu anhu's statement, then why should we say that Ibn Sayyid was not Dajjal? Good. Fine. Let us now use proper methodology. <laughs> yes. Suleiman alayhi salam saw a vision. And uh, excuse me, I hope you're listening to me. This is not hadith. This is Quran. So when you come at me as though you're always coming at me, remember this is the Quran. Remember you should show respect for the Quran. I'm talking to my critics. Allah gave him the vision of someone sitting on his throne. And that someone was a jasad. What he saw in that vision was so terrifying to him. That person sitting on his throne was so evil. And he recognized that that person sitting on his throne wants to inherit his kingdom. That's why he's sitting on the throne. He wants to inherit my kingdom. And you will kindly excuse me if I say it's the holy state of Israel. I don't know any other answer to give. So I call it the holy state of Israel. The kingdom of Solomon alayhi salam. And then he responded by making a dua to Allah. Rabbanagfirli. Wahabli mulkan la yambagi li ahadim min ba'di. Kindly forgive me, O Allah, and grant that my kingdom may be such that none can inherit it after me. None can inherit it after me, indicating that my kingdom was, must end when I die. Good. Who is that sitting on the throne of Suleiman alayhi salam, who wants to inherit the kingdom? And who is an evil being. And it terrifies Suleiman alayhi salam to such an extent that he makes this dua unprecedented in history. That this Khilafah state, the first Khilafah state in history should end when I die. My answer is Dajjal. If you are not comfortable with my answer, there is no problem. You can have another explanation. But if you go beyond that to say that I'm wrong and I'm misguided, you must tell me what is right so that I can be sure that I'm wrong, what is right, that you're not doing that. And so from this verse of the Quran, it is confirmed to me the Dajjal wants to rule over the Holy Land and over a holy state of Israel. Did Ibn Sayyad have even an iota of a connection with that subject? Do I need to continue any further? This is the Quran. I have not touched any hadith as yet. I'm dealing with the book of Allah, the Quran, answer me. There's no connection between Ibn Sayyad and the state of the holy state of Israel and ruling over the holy land. Nothing at all. And Ibn Sayyad could not have been that child. And this is only the beginning of the answer. I don't need to go further than this.